Hello everyone, I'm Nazarat Fatima and you're watching Live Law. As most of us know that Mohammed Faisal MP Lakshadweep was convicted by a Sessions Court in Lakshadweep and was sentenced to 10 years in prison for attempted murder. He was disqualified by the Lok Sabha Secretariat from the lower house of parliament. His conviction was suspended after he challenged it in the Kerala High Court and later his membership was restored by the Lok Sabha Secretariat after he challenged the refusal of the Lok Sabha Secretariat to withdraw the decision to disqualify him, even after his conviction was stayed by the High Court. Now there's an update in the story, which is that a plea has been moved by a Lucknow-based advocate, Ashok Pandey, in the Supreme Court, in which it has been contended that when a member of parliament or of a state legislature loses his office by operation of law, he will continue to be disqualified till he is acquitted from the charges levelled against him. The plea argues that Lok Sabha was not right in restoring his lost membership after being convicted under Section 307 of IPC. Also, the petition has sought issuance of a writ of co warranto asking Mohammed Faisal Khan as to under what authority of law is he holding the office of membership of the Lok Sabha despite being disqualified for being a member of parliament. The petition also pleads that the Supreme Court should decide whether the conviction of an accused can be stayed by the Court of Appeal and can a disqualified person become qualified for being a member of parliament or state legislature on the basis of such stay on conviction. The plea submits and I quote, MP Mohammed Faisal was disqualified by operation of law from the date on which he suffered conviction under section 307 of IPC and was sentenced to 10 years of rigorous imprisonment. The order of the Speaker was merely a formal order through which the vacancy of the Office of Membership of Mohammed Faisal Khan from the Lok Sabha was notified. Mohammed Faisal Khan is disqualified from being chosen as or from being a Member of Parliament and State Legislature till his conviction is not set aside by the Court of Appeal and so to restore his membership and to permit him to continue to work as Member of Parliament is in clear violation of Article 102 read with Section 8, Clause 3 of the Representation of People's Act, 1951. To learn more about the case or follow the updates, please visit the website or download the app for a better experience. That's all for the video. We hope you like our videos. If you do, please like and share. Also, subscribe to Live Law. And don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.